What's up guys, it's your girl Simi back with another video and today guys, I'm back with yet again another reaction video and not just any video, euphoria time. Now y'all probably like, euphoria, what, what, what she know about euphoria? I know everything about euphoria, okay? And I just never thought to react to it because I didn't think folks would really care that much about it. But sometimes I just do stuff because I want to do it. And this is the video I just want to react to. Um, yeah, so I'm going to you know, react to this. You feel things you get it with. And before we get to the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more of my videos. Also, let me know what other videos you guys want to see in the comments down below. And um, oh, by the way, not just any type of like video from before we're gonna kind of watch the trailer for season i mean for season two episode seven and if you, like i said like i'll be saying what i'll be reacting to like all these other shows and stuff if you haven't seen the latest episode episode six or if you still on season one you know and you still you know you you can catch it up slowly but it's taking time because you at work or you at school that's cool but don't watch the video yet so just you know save this in one of your playlists right Oh, you know you feel me? And then come back to it when you caught up. That way I don't spoil enough for you. Cause y'all know me, I feel like spoiled a lot. I got a lot to say. A lot. You feel me? And um without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright guys, here we go. I feel like I've lived most Lexi. of my life. I think Lexi's like really cool. Like a really cool girl. Taking the smallest moments and dreaming them up into something bigger. But I always had this feeling that at any moment this is about her play. something horrible was about to happen. Of course I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna be sitting in the front row, sorry. Huh? I ain't doing play. What the freak? You really ever think about yourself? It's not true. Open the door, Cassie. Let's go. Take it to the people. Fucking showtime. Let's go. Oh, okay. Gonna it's gonna upset people. Why would anyone be upset by it? Because <laughs> about Wait, is this fucking play about us. Oh shit! <laughs> Y'all did not know she was gonna say that. Yo, it's crazy because the thing about it is they would have really figured it out that the play was about them had they paid attention to her and paid attention to her auditions or the people that auditioned. Or even read the what's it called when you write it like a su the summary of what the play is about itself. They would have easily figured it out. You know what I'm saying? Anybody smart enough would have figured it out. So I I'm surprised they just you know. But then again, they all got their own stuff going on. <sighs> Too much stuff. But they all got their own stuff going on, so it's kind of understandable. Um, and you know, I was looking at a little theory about season episode seven and stuff. And folks are saying how like, oh, uh, what did they say? Something about Fez is gonna get like hit. Okay, if you watch episode six, you seen that that guy, I forgot his name, was talking to the, to the blonde girl, I forgot her name. And he was saying how he's working with the FBI now and he's gonna get them to confess to the murder and this, that, and the third. So something down the lines I feel like is that, uh, that story is connected to episode seven, you know? And um, I hope it all works in his favor and, you know, they don't go to jail him and Ashtray because, shoot, that will be rough for real. Ashtray, my homie, you know, he don't be messing with nobody, but he eat it all for real. He eat it all. Um, Rue, I just, look, we all know about Rue, okay? She's getting off this addiction, trying her best. Cool. Her and Jules have to speak. That's all I really one is you know if i haven't seen one trailer or one comment or anything about them even speaking it out and it's cool that they don't date you know what i'm saying i personally don't feel like they should date only because jules like if you watch her story she has a lot of problems you know with people who have addictions and stuff and based on her mother and stuff because we don't know what happened with her and her mom 
But you know what I'm saying? Just based off stuff like that. So obviously, her and Rue had a good bond and all that, but realistically, it always was never going to end up working because the same thing, the same way she felt about her mom, she started to feel about Rue. Even though Rue never knew. I don't think Rue knew, knows nothing about how her mom treated her. I don't know if she ever told her or not. I don't know. But if she did tell her, then Rue was low-key messed up because I just feel like people try to hate Jules. And the only real reason people can be mad at her is because of the Elliot thing when she cheated and stuff. That's fair. Okay, she cheated. But people cannot hate her because Rue wants to use her as a clutch, you know, to help herself get better. Like, I'm going to get better for you. You know what I'm saying? And, and Jules doesn't deserve all that weight on her shoulder. She does not deserve that. Nobody deserves that. To have somebody else's weight. Somebody else depending on you for the sake of them. You know what I'm saying? Rue should have wanted, Rue has to want for herself. You know, not for nobody else. So that, I just feel like Jules shouldn't be hated for stuff like that. Now she left her. I don't know how to feel about that. Like she, like I said, Jules was going through a lot. So it's like, you have to kind of understand. Remember Nate freaking, you know, threatened her and all that. And after that, she was just like, a, a wreck and by, by the way also she was fell in love with the guy she was speaking to so she was a very much wreck even though she loved um rue or whatever even though it's odd because ali made it a good point to make it seem like they weren't dating you feel me and i want to know y'all guys opinion in the comments season one were they dating or you guys think they were just like messing around because technically they never fully established that they were together or not, you feel me? So, when Jules went up, you know what I'm saying, with a with old girl, she didn't cheat. You know, unless there's some mommies, you feel me? But um, regardless, season, episode 7 looks pretty chill, you know? It's more of Lexi and Fez, cool. I don't think I see anybody else, Maddie and uh, Cassie for the speak, but... <sighs> I don't know, man. I just don't know how I feel about the whole situation. Obviously, Cassie's wrong. That's clear as day. And I actually like Maddie. I don't know. I don't think there's nobody that doesn't like her, for real. Um, Cassie obviously was wrong. There's no point in speaking to Cassie because she's too manipulative, self-centered, and plays victim too much. You know, self-pities herself. And if she got through half that stuff, then I feel like Maddie would be like, all right, let me come talk to you. But the fact that she's still acting like she didn't do anything wrong because her and Nate, because Nate and Maddie broke up when you knew Maddie and Nate were still in contact because at her birthday when uh, Maddie had spilled the beans about, you know, Nate saying, oh, I can't wait to get back together. She literally threw up in the hot tub. So you knew that they were speaking and you still dealing with this man. Let's be for real. They weren't officially dating, but they were something. Come on now. Stop playing. Um... Yeah, I had to make sure my camera didn't die on me though. But yeah, like, Cassie just irritates me for real. I, I got a lot to say. You know, I'm going to react to the scene with Cassie and Maddie. Not Cassie and Maddie. Cassie and her, her uh, Lexi and the mom and stuff like that. If y'all want, let me know in the comments down below. And I got y'all. But episode 7 looked chill. Episode 6 was cool. You know, it was something. It was something. It wasn't what everybody thought it was going to be. But it was definitely something. You feel me? And it's going to lead up to more of something greater we're just waiting on that greater thing to happen get it but um yeah let me know your guys thoughts and opinions on what you guys see for season seven your thoughts and opinions on euphoria as a show a lot of controversy we ain't gonna get into that we gonna say that for another video but just know if you like the show i love the show i don't care what nobody say euphoria is a good show to me and it's man I ain't gonna get into it. Just y'all, if you get it, the girls that get it, get it. You feel me? The girls that don't, you don't. Shoot, that's y'all problem for real. But yeah, let me know you guys' opinions on what you think the spoilers are gonna be. Um, let me know any insights that I freaking miss, cause I try to stay away from a little like theories and stuff like that. But I also, I'm here to see what people think the episode's gonna be about before it comes out. So you know, if you know anything, let me know in the comments down below. You feel me? And um. I'm going to catch you guys for the next video. Bye.